Mi gente, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chef Rose, La Chef del Pueblo. This YouTube series is all about moms going back to school, mi gente. Ahora, last video, we spoke about picking a major. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out, mi gente. And in this video, we're going to speak about the different types of colleges que hay aquí en la ciudad de Nueva York. So when we're talking about colleges, mi gente, AOI CUNY, AOI SUNY, AOI two-year programs, four-year programs, ah, what do you pick? What do you pick? It's very important to know the differences, right? What is CUNY? What does it stand for? It's the City University of New York. And that means that CUNY schools are all in the city of New York, which means in Brooklyn, in Manhattan, in Queens, in uh, Staten Island, in the Bronx. So that's where you will find CUNY schools. Now, SUNY schools are state universities of New York. Que significa la que están en upstate, la que están lejos en Long Island. But don't worry, we're gonna get into all of that goodness. And also, we'll talk about my experience picking City Tech. So when I was in high school, mi gente, and it was time to fill out the paperwork for the different colleges that I wanted to apply for, Yo no sabía lo que yo estaba haciendo. I just looked through the book, y estaba chequeando the different colleges, y yo estaba buscando todos los colleges que tuvieran más cerca de mi casa. Eso es lo que yo estaba haciendo en high school. Porque imagínate, my parents are immigrants. Ellos vinieron a este país a trabajar. Ellos no vinieron a estudiar. Unfortunately, they didn't go to school. And it was up to me to figure out where, what school I was going to go to, which one I was going to pick. And I was overwhelmed because it was just so much to choose from. Yo no sabía la diferencia entre two years. Yo no sabía entre four years. Yo no sabía absolutamente nada, mi gente. So the way that I ended up at City Tech was because City Tech was actually in downtown Brooklyn. And I grew up in Crown Heights, which is now called Prospect Heights, mi gente. Sabe como está eso, gentrification. But anyways, so for me, it was literally three stops away in the train. So I said, pero esta es la escuela mía, porque está seca. Yo no sabía qué programa tenía City Tech. Yo no sabía si era un two-year school, si era un four-year school. Yo sabía absolutamente nada. Solo supe que me aceptaron ahí, and that's the college that I was going to go to, and that was that. So I ended up going to City Tech. I didn't even know anything about like payment, how much it cost, the financial aid, if it was available. I'm telling you, I went in there. Ay, Dios mío, hasta vergüenza me da decirlo. Here I am in City Tech, a 19 year old with no idea about anything. It wasn't until 2016 that I went back to school that I finally figured out, wow, I can get an associate's here. Wow, I can get a bachelor's here. I had no idea, mi gente. Ahora, tengo para decirle que usually when you're doing a degree, a four year degree, like for me, hospitality management, I could have applied for my associates, but because I transferred from different majors, it, my curriculum, it was just a mess. It was a mess. So it didn't work out for me. Pero, ya estamos este de camino to get a bachelor's. So, just keep that in mind. Sometimes you can't apply for an associate's if you're doing a four-year degree. And then you can keep working. So, CUNY offered two-year program schools that you can get your associate's for and just you're done in two years. And some of those schools are BMCC, LaGuardia, Kingsborough. There's a couple more of them throughout the city of New York. Um, if you're looking to do four years, then you have a lot more options. You have um, New York College of Technology, City Tech, eh? <laughs> you have a Baruch, you have Lehman, you have um, John Jay for criminal justice, Brooklyn College for general education. There's like so many, Queens College, that campus is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, there's so much to choose from. Some of the SUNY college options are Farmingdale, Albany, you have Stony Brook, you have Old Westbury. There's a ton of them throughout Long Island, throughout upstate New York. I mean, quien quiere coger para allá arriba que está tan frío? But anyways, <laughs> it is totally up to you um, in choosing which one of the two works for you. Now, mi gente, there is a price difference between CUNY and SUNY. There is a price difference if you're doing um, a two-year college versus a four-year college. There is a price difference if you are a, a New York State resident and if you are not a New York State resident. So you have to keep those kind of things in mind and also a different price if you're dorming. Vamos a hablar de lo precio, mi gente. So if you're looking to go to a CUNY college, um, the tuition fee is about $7,400 if you are an in-state resident. If you are out of state, you're looking at about $15,000. Um, I suggest that you move to New York and then apply for school. <laughs> That's just my little tip. For SUNY schools, mi gente, the prices are much, much more expensive. If you are an in-state resident, you're looking at about $12,000 a semester. If you are a non 
New York resident, you're looking at almost $30,000. Mi gente, cuánto cuarto. Again, mi gente, I focus on New York City because that is where I am located and I know a little more about the school system here in New York than other states. If you do live in Florida, if you live in Boston and Rhode Island, I highly suggest that you do some Google searching. You probably perhaps can go to the school, make an appointment, visit the campus, check it out, ask all the questions, mi gente. Eso es bien importante. Write down the questions. Cada vez que te venga una pregunta and you're like, oh my God, I wonder if they charge for this. I wonder if they charge for that. I wonder if I can get help for this or there's more aid. Ask all the questions. Esa gente están ahí para ayudarte. Everyone is there, there is willing to help. I mean, fingers crossed that you come across nice people, but I'm sure they're all there to help. Is there any questions that you have, any doubts, address them. There's a, t like if you go on Google, I'm sure that you can contact the school and you can like email, that way you're shy and you don't want to show up to the school, write, to, you know, you can write a couple of emails and they'll get back to you. And when you finally pick a school, mi gente, yo lo voy a contar a ustedes. The first time I went to City Tech, I did not know that City Tech had like five different buildings. Like inside the main building, there's three different sections. There's the Pearl building, there's the NAMP building. There was another building across the street. There was another, no, the, the, down the block, there was another building. There's like different buildings throughout the, the, the campus. I mean, it's huge. Yo no sabía. I was late to every class. One time I was sitting in a class and when the professor, you know, called out all the names, my name wasn't there. And she's like, you know, this is such and such class. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't belong in this class. That was like after 20 minutes of sitting in the class. So like, it's super important. You know, you pick the school, you have your schedule, go a couple of days before and like roam around the school, check it out. So that way you're not late. But I still suggest that you can, if you can do virtual tours, even better because me, I didn't even know anything. I mean, you know, I crack up now, but at the time, just sudaba. Just sudaba. And so, especially the elevators. If you go to City Tech, you know that there's elevators right across from each other. If you take the elevators to the right of you, they stop in every floor. If you take the elevators to the left of you, they skip all the way to the sixth floor. Ustedes creían que yo sabía eso. Yo no sabía eso. Yo no sabía nada. Así que es, es, ask all the questions that you can. Así que mi gente, don't be like me. Este, don't do the mistakes that I did. Um, I believe in you. I know that you're going to be great. You're going to pick the school that works perfectly for you. Pick a school that you actually are interested in, not just because it's very close to you, but that it actually offers the program that you want. Remember, if you want to be a teacher, you can go to Brooklyn College. They have a really, really good program there. If you want to do, if you want to be a lawyer, paralegal, there is John Jay. If you want to do business, I hear Baruch is really, really good. If you like technology, City Tech, a, a, a. So also keep that in mind. Don't do what I did. Inexperience. Una muchacha joven que no sabía. Pero nada, mi gente. If you found this video very helpful, please share it with other moms who might want to go back to school and need that little oomph to get the, their foot in the door. Um, Comment if you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video about picking a school. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss any future videos. And con eso lo dejo mi gente. Thank you so much for watching. Bendiciones a todos.